uh, when you've got the top Russian general last week, we could play it here, folks, coming out and saying, we know U.S. forces are planning to dress up like Russians and go around committing false flags. Uh, I mean, this has become so mainstream. It's their favorite yeah. tool. Yeah, it is. And one reason it's become mainstream is because Putin and the other uh, and, uh, Russians are speaking out. They're talking to the press. They're the ones who are blowing the whistle on so much of these things that are happening. But I think it's also essential to realize that behind the lines here in the United States, we have a collapsing economy. We have a bankrupt government. We have uh, stagflation beginning. Is that why they're trying to start these wars, is, is, is to get people to rally around the flag as, no. as, as corrupt systems have done before? It's always been a, a, uh, a method of diverting attention. You know, it's the wag the dog uh, syndrome. And one thing that uh, particularly the Republican politicians have always done, and Reagan did this, I believe, uh, was when the economic situation at home becomes so bad that it's embarrassing, you divert attention from it by going off and attacking. But at least he attacked Grenada, which was something that didn't, you know, a country that didn't have 20,000 nukes. Right. But this is, no, this is, of course, this is uh, much more serious. And, uh, it, it, again, it, it reminds me of the foolishness with which uh, people in past history have gone into Russia and have come out, uh, if they came out at all, uh, on the losing end of a major confrontation. Because what? Russia is not Iraq. Russia is not Iran. Russia is a world power. No Where do you see this going? Where do you see? How do you see this extrapolating it out? Where do you see it developing? I think it's going. In my own opinion. I think we're going to see things just be a talking war uh, with uh, the Westerners, with Condoleezza Rice and and Cheney and and everybody just kind of mouthing off in the press, uh, the talking heads doing their thing uh, against the intransigence of Russia, which is simply not going to back down. They're about to annex uh, at least South Ossetia, uh, and they're not going to give uh, Bush an inch. Uh, even when Bush tried to use this to get the nuclear or the, the weapons defense system into Poland, uh, Putin called him on that and called the Polish on that. I, I think it's going to be a stalemate into the election and that it's going to be turned over to uh, either McCain, uh, God forbid, or uh, Obama and Biden then to try to manage their way down out of this tree they've climbed up into. Now you work with Republican administrations yourself, but but you're saying that you you think Obama's better. Well, I I, I think I'm not saying Obama is better, and of course, I mean we know. We well, Roberts see, is saying the same thing, and he's the Reaganomics, Mr. Republican. Yeah, we've seen what Obama has been saying about Georgia. We've seen what Biden has been saying about Georgia. Uh, they can't say anything else. Uh, Bush has painted them into a corner. But when they're handed the crisis, if it's they who are handed the crisis, they're the ones who are going to have to figure out a way out of it. Okay, Richard uh, uh, Richard C. Cook, can you stay five more minutes on the other side yes. to finish up that thought and also give out your fine news websites? Okay. Sure. Then I'm going to lay myself on Russian TV, and then we got Utter Roberts coming up in your phone call. Stay with us. Prepare yourself for a talk radio for a talk experience, radio experience. Like, no other. like no other. Strap yourselves in and hold on. He stands for truth. He stands for justice. He stands for what's right. This is the Alex Jones Show. Call Alex now, toll free, at 877-590-5525. Now live from Austin, Texas, here's Alex Jones. My job is very easy. I just study the facts, the information, interview the experts, do my own research. The truth is actually pretty easy to find. It's just that the establishment counts on you being lazy, not researching, not looking into the facts, and that our government could be hijacked and launch a sneak attack on Russian territorial areas and kill a bunch of people and then tell the public it's the other way around. It's an insult to all of our intelligence. 
The toll-free number to join us is 877-590-5525. And I will take some calls coming up in the next segment uh, before Dr. Roberts joins us, continuing with what's happening to the economy. He's a top economist. And with Russia. But with Richard C. Cook, I've thrown a lot of questions and points in. Uh, just in closing, sir, any other points you need to make on the current development and the escalation with Russia? And then, of course, on the economy, uh, which you also uh, are an economist yourself. Yeah, just a couple things. Um, about a year ago, I was in a hallway conversation with one of the Democratic presidential candidates. And I'm not going to say who it was because it was off the record. But this gentleman said to me, and I quote, this country's government is being run by a crime syndicate, unquote. That was a Democratic presidential candidate, and he was talking about the Bush-Cheney administration. This administration has collapsed our economy. It has so overextended our military in Asia that we are now... Uh, very close to a shooting war with the most powerful country in that part of the world, Russia. And the one factor that's left out of this equation, Alex, that I have been reading about from some fairly reliable sources uh, in the intelligence community is we take it for granted that the military is always going to salute and do exactly what they're told, no matter how crazy it is and no matter how contrary to the American national interest it is. And I am being told that the military, that there are people within the U.S. military who are drawing a line now on this Russia thing and putting the Bush administration on notice that they will only go so far in support of actions that are contrary to our interests. Well, look at Fox Fallon. I mean, he was the head over there at CENTCOM right. and said no on a sneak attack on Iran. And he's not the only one. Well, it, I mean, they're constantly quitting. Guys, they thought yeah. that were behind them. And we have to ask ourselves, why are they saying no? That's it's right. not that they're even wonderful, mortal people. It's they understand, folks, this is World War III. This is uh, continuity of government being activated out there at Cheyenne Mountain. That's correct. And the, the Bush-Cheney administration has brought the country to collapse, and we can't just keep walking into these traps without stopping and saying, what are we doing this for? Who's giving us these orders? Why are we being given these orders? And what are the consequences for our nation going to be if we don't stop now, look within, see what we need to fix at home before we continue on this path of madness abroad? And I think that there are enough people now who have this awareness that I at least have some hope that uh, over the next year, two years, maybe a little bit longer, enough people in responsible positions are going to be able to come together and do something about it. That's my hope. Do you believe the polls that John McCain, on average, is about two points ahead of Barack Obama? Well, I'm not too surprised to hear that. Uh, I think Obama took a terrific beating uh, from all of the people who are trying to arouse fears about him uh, uh, before the Democratic Convention began. So I'm, I'm not too surprised to see that. Uh, but we've got a long way to go until November. Well, Mr. Cook, I mean, here's the problem. And I know you've worked in the White House and at NASA and you know, written for the Washington Post, and you're a great analyst and economist, and I respect your opinion. And I understand that the Bush-Cheney you know, crime syndicate is the worst expression in U.S. history of, of tyranny. There's, there's nothing even close. I mean, this is Hitlerian. The problem is the very same Wall Street, the very same banking cartel that you write so much about, endorsed the PNAC plan of global domination in 99-2000. They endorsed the Bushes. They gave them you know, free reign. And I see the same rhetoric now out of Barack Obama. That's correct. And, and, and so I'm, I just don't see it changing. I, no, I'm, and I'm not saying uh, it's necessarily going to come from Obama and, or Obama-Biden. Uh, I think there are other people in the country in positions of authority or who have been in positions of authority, including uh, military people, who may be able to exert some influence here as we move forward. Well, I know they were bringing in more U.S. troops uh, a few weeks ago, and the Russians moved some medium-range nukes in. I also know that uh, the Georgian puppet dictator has said that he plans to attack Ossetia and Abkhazia again as soon as he can. Russia says that's an act of war by the U.S. arming him. 
I hope you're right and this becomes just a diplomatic war. Do you think the EU is going to uh, put sanctions on Russia? No, I don't. And the EU already are the ones who are trying to mediate this. I mean, it was a French ceasefire uh, that the Russians signed. And Merkel saying don't escalate. Yes, I think there are enough people in the European community who have had enough uh, of what Bush and Cheney have done that there is going to be some balancing force coming out of that part of the world. Again, that's my hope. I think, uh, uh, again, I want to be very clear. I'm not saying or justifying the kind of rhetoric that Obama and Biden have been putting forth. I think what they did was appalling. But they're not the only players in this game. There are other people, other forces involved in the world who are seeing the same things that you and I are talking about right now or that Paul Craig Roberts has been talking about and that at a certain point, some of this has got to come to the fore. I'm not ready to give up hope on that. What about the police state and the whole expansion of uh, continuity of government uh, grid, NORTHCOM, based out in Colorado? Uh, 